Good morning and welcome back to City Line. With me, I have uh, two of the three Emma Cat Award winners uh, for the city of Tacoma. And I also have somebody who knows possibly everything there is to know about the Emma Cat Awards. Um, so please join me in welcoming Rachel Betron. You are the Tacoma Arts Month Coordinator. Welcome back, my dear. Yes, great Good to, to see you Good to have you. I love that you and I are, are both our little clear glasses mm -hmm. here. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you brought with you um, this wonderful woman, um, Lois Bernstein. You are the Chief Community Executive for Multicare Health System. Yes. Welcome to City Line. Thank you very much. And congratulations on your award. Thank you. And I can't wait to chat with you because I'm sure I can hear our viewers going, Multicare and the AmaCat. Oh, mm, what? Well, mm. And we're going to get to that, aren't we? Yes. But nobody does mm when I talk about Tacoma Little Theater. <laughs> And Chris Surface, who is the uh, Managing Artistic Director, congratulations, Ammo Cat Award. Thank you. Boom! And just in time for the big 100-year anniversary. Yep. Couldn't come at a finer time. Um, so let's get down to it first off. And we also, I want to do a little side note here that uh, Jackie Casalo was going to be here today because she is the winner of Creative Colloquy, say that 10 times. <laughs> Jackie, you're probably watching this. Congratulations, we love you. We love what you do for Tacoma. And we love the most that you are home with your sick baby right now because families come first. So congratulations, my dear. All right, so let's talk about what are the AmaCat Awards? And first off, what does AmoCat mean? Yeah, so AmaCat, Fun fact is Tacoma backwards. It is. Isn't that amazing? I love it. So, Whoever thought of that is genius. Well, I think it ties in really nicely as a really creative title to awards that go to very creative people and yes. people who serve the creative community. Here See things Tacoma. differently. Yeah, absolutely. So the Amica Arts Awards, they're um, honored um, to three different people or organizations each year. This is the 14th year of the Amicat Arts Awards and the nominations come from community members all yes. across the city of Tacoma. And then the award winners are selected by the Tacoma Arts Commission, mm -hmm. which is a group of 15 volunteers that represent artists, business leaders, community members, and community arts leaders as well. So we have three different categories. And as you mentioned before, Jackie Casella is one of our winners and yes. she was awarded the Community Outreach by a Individual Award. And then we also have the Arts Patron Award and the Community Outreach by an Organization Award. Which are here on the couch right now. That's correct. Yes. So there, um, before I get to you two and get the real nuts and bolts of what it feels like and who you serve, let's talk about the celebration and the actual, we have some pictures here of the awards um, and uh, that evening. So go ahead and give us the 411. Yeah. So the Amica Arts Awards is part of the Tacoma Arts Month opening party. And so we had Mayor Victoria Woodards and council members Keith Locker and Lillian Hunter with there us to grant the awards. And we also had this fantastic opening presentation with- There's Jackie. Yeah, there she is. And uh, yeah, we had opening uh, presentations and performances from our Tacoma Poet Laureate, oh. Kelly Richardson. Yeah, I love Kelly. She's yeah, on the show. She's great. And then we also had a performance by the Dance Collective, um, Barefoot Collective. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, something for everybody. Yeah. And then one other dance we also had from the Tacoma Urban Performing Arts Center. So it was fabulous. A blast. So so and then and then after that it just was nothing but just arts and frivolity and fun and lots of pats on the back. Absolutely. I can see that. All right, you two. So let's start with you, Lois. I'm going to ask uh, kind of a, a blank question for both of you so people can get to know your organizations. If by chance they don't know them, which I find that hard to believe when you use, uh, use the organization Tacoma Little Theater and Multicare, everybody knows what they are. But how they connect to AmaCat, we may not know. So first off, Lois, describe your organization and the work that it does. Sure, thank you. You're I'm welcome. Really pleased to be here and to uh, talk about this award. So Multicare is a not-for-profit healthcare system. We've been in this community since the 1880s. Wow. We have grown since our 
uh, beginning of the Fanny Paddock Memorial Hospital. We now have eight hospitals um, spanning both Puget Sound and east of the mountains in Spokane. Um, we have 18,000 employees and physicians, providers, volunteers who help contribute to the health of our community. You take care of us. You really, yes. really do. We hope to. You, I, I think you do a good job. Okay, Chris, your turn. So, so describe Tacoma Little Theater and what it does. Uh, in October of 1918, a group of community individuals came together and decided that Tacoma needed some art happening. And so they yep. formed the Tacoma Little Theater and Drama League, oh. which was part of the little theater movement across the United States. And through that, we became a community theater that was supported by our community, made up of members of our community. We had classes, play readings, performances, and we've been doing that for 100 years, and we continue to grow. Um, and we are so happy to be celebrating our 100th year as part of the community. Chris, our, one time, at one point there was a tagline that was attached to Tacoma Little Theater, and it was <laughs> the oldest continuing, op I can hear Judy Cullen in my head, the oldest continuing operating little theater west of the Mississippi. Is that still true? It gets a little sticky. Okay, say, say it correctly. <laughs> no, you, you are correct with the, that the right? statement. Uh, Diamond Head Theater in Honolulu, Hawaii. Has Brats! Been, it's been a, around a little longer than we have. But in the contiguous states, we are the oldest operating community. There we go. We'll, we'll just kind of keep those islanders over there basking in the sun as, as we rest over here in the rain. Um, so um, let's talk about, for both of you, and Lois, I'll go back to you. Um, when I think about multi-care, okay, and, and I, I think about the question how you guys would use art to positively impact the community, I think about, quite honestly, walking through your lobbies and seeing beautiful glass art and chandeliers, and that's a form of art. It's not the kind of art that I think about in terms of performance, poetry, Chris's kind of art. So what kind of art is it? Well, actually, it, it encompasses all of that. Um, we um, commission artists to come in and um, provide artwork. In fact, in Tacoma General Mary Bridge, we yeah. have over 160 original pieces of art in our facilities. Um, but we also have had the uh, Tacoma Symphony come in and perform. Um, we've had folks come in and sit at the piano and uh, entertain both our patients and families and our staff. So um, we really embrace the arts and we think that the arts are a part of um, a healthy community and a part of healing. Oh, I'm looking at your eyes and you're getting a little glassy and I'm starting to tear up too <laughs> because uh, the arts is so healing when it comes to any kind of illness, even from putting mm -hmm. headsets on and listening to Claire Lalune as you're trying to fall asleep and think good thoughts. It's just all woven in there. So Chris, wow. Um, this is even a harder question for you because you are deep in the arts and we expect you to make an impact on the community. So how do you set yourself apart and do that at Tacoma Little Theater? Good question. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things we do with our programming is we try and be inclusive of everybody. Yes. We want to make something accessible to our youngest patron and our oldest patron, our patrons from different backgrounds and our patrons who just want to escape. So we really try and program a season and offer opportunities for those individuals that will reach every single member of our community. Um, and it's something that we've taken great strides in over the past few years and really um, Tacoma Little Theater is 100 years old, and so we go up and down and up and down a lot through that time. Yes. And uh, we've just been thrilled with the amount of patron support over the last five and a half years that we've received. And new faces are coming through our doors every single day, which is wonderful. Oh, absolutely. I don't, I don't recognize the people who are there now um, when I was there. And, and not only that, but the lobby, the new chairs, the, the continual working on the facility. So it... it continues to serve that 100 years, but doesn't look like it. Fine line between just totally revamping the whole thing and giving up the history, but you guys walk it so well. We live within our means and do what we can. That's right. <laughs> so um, back to Lois here, a little ping pong. Um, how has the arts directly impacted either you or somebody in multi-care yeah. that you know? So 
um, the mission of MultiCare is partnering for healing and a healthy future. And mm. part of um, why we got the Amaket Award is because we financially contribute to arts organizations within the community. Mm -hmm. You know, we've helped fund Hilltop Artists, oh. um, Museum of Glass, Tacoma Art Museum. You're in there. We're in there. But we also, um, you know, I've talked to our caregivers about, well, what is the role of art in healing? And, you know, they talk about how um, Hilltop Artists, um, for those of you who have been down J Street, you'll see our sky bridge, and we have 1,800 uh, glass blown balls, multicolored, that the Hilltop Artists. They did, did that? They did that. Oh, I love that. And those are, those are, those are Jason Lee's students. Those, yes. those are sixth, seventh, and eighth graders that are doing, there it is. There it oh is. Oh my gosh. Well, well, you answered that beautifully. Well, and one of the nice things about those um, art pieces is they've, um, some of the balls have little sea creatures in them. Mm. So um, kids who are there for treatment or siblings who are visiting um, others that they can come and look at that. And you know, you'll see kids saying, I see the octopus. And um, so it's you know, a part of, of that. Yeah. In our um, Children's Health Center, we have a full-size replica, a metal sculpture um, by an artist of a rowboat. Oh my gosh. And we'll see kids in there and pretending mm -hmm. and you know, that's really important. It all fits in, doesn't it? Yeah. Chris, last minute here, I, I want to ask you this question and it's different from what I've asked Lois and that is that, um, what role do you think arts plays in our community as we look at the current times? How does that affect the plays that you pick and what you show on that stage? We offer art as a means of escape for people, where they can go and they can cry over a dramatic story or an emotional story. They can laugh over a comedy that makes them just feel good about themselves. And that they can spend two and a half, three hours where for a little while they're escaping to a new world, yeah. a world where they can feel comfortable and leave feeling like they've had a chance to explore themselves again mm -hmm. and not have to worry about everything that's happening around them in the outside world. It's yeah. escapism. It is. And it's a great thing for us in these days. And you provide a beautiful tapestry because I have been to some shows that I, I have left crying and have made me think about what we are doing worlds away with siblings. And you know what show I'm talking about. Um, and I thank you for that because... Um, it's like a moral compass on that stage sometimes. I want to say thank you, first off, for all the work that you and your team put into this Arts Month, and I'm going to see you more and more this month, um, and, and to the people who are behind you and make this look so easy, you too. Art helps us navigate the gray, and the gray is really hard right now, and I thank you for the hope that it provides and the comfort and the spiritual salve that art gives us right now and how it makes us realize that we all are more alike than we are different and we need that right now. So thank you, thank you. and congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. You. Thanks, Mary. All right, I'll see you in about a week. All right, when we come back in our final fabulous segment is Tacoma Concert Band. We'll be right back after this quick break. <laughs> 